All right, guys. <clears throat> so this is going to be the basically the uh, tap it install. So what I'm going to do? Red. And what I have somewhere left it somewhere. So here we go. So I got some red line assembly lube, new liquid formula. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dab some in. Ugh. Just gonna put a little bit in each of these little spots for now. Cause that's where it's gonna be and I won't be able to I won't be able to reach that little spot so I'm gonna let it penetrate a little bit so anyway this is why I don't do uh, videos of me doing stuff cuz it's kind of boring I don't even know if you can see I said I was gonna get a wide-angle lens and I never did. Oh well. Just do like the rest of the world. Sue everybody. Um. Anyway. So I'm going in and just lubricating this crap. Like I said, because I can't get to it. So I'm gonna take a push rod. So just factory push rod. I'm push it in there. This is just what I'm doing. I ain't never built a Cummins, but they're supposed to be simple, common sense. So I'm just gonna let it ooze out, I guess. Go around the edges. And take what's left of this. Just come in. Loop them up like that, I guess. Put a little more on here. On my hands. Just gonna put a bunch of it on there. Because it does ride. In the little channel. More. So, anyway, pretty boring, huh? So, this will help it for because this engine might be sitting for a while before somebody buys it. Because, like I said, I'm just going to be selling the engine. To buy myself a toy or something, I don't know, maybe you'll buy my wife a car or something. But more than likely I'll be selling my 4th gen Dodge, my 4th gen Ram I guess you can call it. Because uh, I just don't like the fact of having it registered in Colorado and I don't want it, I don't want to register it in California because I'm too cheap so anyway now let me try to put you guys over here somewhere and I'll just slap these in put them in the accurate so I don't even know if you can see down in there where they go but basically they just they just go in these holes all the way down like that 
give them a little worky worky. And uh, yeah, just to make sure they're all good. And they're apparently they're not any different sizes. They're not bigger than the other. I did torque the uh, squirters. The squirters they say to torque them down to 133 inch pounds. Apparently. Nobody can find it. That one's tight. I'm gonna have to try to push that one back out. So supposedly nobody can find the torque for that. I googled it and found it. So I need it. Let's take that push rod and push that one back out. So I got them all torqued, torqued down 133 inch pounds. Um with some blue Loctite on them so that this way they don't fall out or rattle out. So I think 133 inch pounds, I don't know what it converts to, but somebody said eight to 10 inch pound, eight to 10 foot pounds. So, um, but yeah, so, man, I can't, that one's tight. Ugh. Anyway, let me just put them all in real quick. So, uh, but yeah, I think with all the emission stuff that's going on in, in the U.S. and with everything, I think I'm just going to try to get rid of my fourth gen. And uh, this motor will be good for somebody that wants to stay compliant with the EPA because you will... You will eventually seize or blow up your motor if you keep all your emissions crap on there. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm kind of irritated with the whole situation because you're just trying to make stuff last longer and they're not letting you and they can't give you a reason why your stuff can't last longer. You know, you want to spend sixty, eighty thousand dollars for a truck, and you can't even get a hundred and fifty thousand miles out of it, because this motor was seized was seized at a hundred and fifty thousand. It's like one fifty, or no, sorry, one forty eight, hundred and forty eight thousand miles, and this motor was seized. Which. In my opinion, a Cummins, uh, you know, Cummins motors are supposed to last 300 plus thousand miles. Okay. Still tight. Um, I don't really know what else to say. This is boring. This is why I don't do these things. Okay, well, I guess uh, let me clean everything up and grab that cam, I guess. So, you want to lube all the want to lube all the bearings, or sorry, all the journals. So I'll get in here with some lube lubricate all those and slap the cam in so I'll be right back with the cam. <laughs> 